are some routines from the pandemic that we definitely do not want to stick around, but there's also a few that may be here to stay. So in this News 5 original, our Caroline Sweeney found out why digital menus will still be on the table at restaurants. Around 1 p.m., the lunch rush is over, but people found their way into Avo Modern Mexican in Ohio City. I was just catching up with a friend and we're, uh, we're having a few drinks. While some of the safety measures that were up during the height of the pandemic have come down. We're moving past and uh, you know, getting back to uh, full capacity. Some may stay around. I do love the QR code menus. These are QR code menus. The digital code is read by the camera on your phone and a link pops up. But it also means companies who support the codes could track information like when, where, and how often a code is scanned. Some supporting apps even have people create a login. Daniel Linquist says that's not a big deal. I think that your phone has pretty uh, detailed security. Also, the other thing is you don't have to wait awkwardly for like a check. Safety experts say these square codes cannot be hacked or changed once created, but websites connected to them can. Dangerous links connected to QR codes can contain malware or open up your information to phishing. If a link like that is clicked on, your information could be vulnerable. Avo does have physical menus. These menus are machine washable and they're $7 to print. But 80% of customers use these QR codes, which cuts down on costs. 100% these are gonna continue to stay at all of my restaurants. Gabriel Zeller isn't alone. The National Restaurant Association says half of all full service restaurants got QR code menus during the pandemic. And these menus can save between 30 and 50% on labor costs. We used to go from like around 100 menus per printing to we're down to about 25. Zeller says he does not track any information coming off the QR code menus at his restaurants. For him, these are a way to make dining easier. And it allows us to modify on the fly. In Cleveland, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.